morning, friends. It is Saturday, April 22nd, and there really is no end. I just haven't picked up my camera in a while, and I want to vlog, so we'll see what this turns into, but I'm sitting in my room right now because it's like 9 a.m., and my roommate is sleeping because it is Saturday morning. Um, so, right now, I'm going to go make pancakes because that is how I start every weekend so I'll show you guys that recipe because even though I feel like I post it on Instagram and Snapchat and here like every single day I still get questions about it so I'll show you that then I'm going to get my hair highlighted like I told you and then I honestly just have a lot of like work and stuff to do the rest of the day but we'll see we'll make this interesting let's go make pancakes <laughs> waffle recipe again when people ask I'm always like how have you not picked up on this yet like it's so simple but seriously even if you're dieting or like don't have a ton of carbs to play with yes I use like three servings of pancake mix right now but it seriously makes a difference even if you add like half a serving a quarter serving it's just way better than like just protein powder and egg like whatever the one carb waffle thing is so give that a try I'll put the recipe in the description box um and yeah I'm gonna eat these and get some work done so yeah okay so I'm back at Bellagia salon where I was last video and get a last look at this hair because it's about to be blonder I said this I've never done anything to my hair like I curled it last night, which is why it's kind of like a mess like this right now. But besides like curling it and like occasionally straightening it, which I don't even do that often because my hair is so straight naturally, I've never like gotten it chemically straightened or dyed or like extensions or anything. So I'm like, damn, going to the dark side. Yeah, let's go do this thing. This is the final product. <laughs> Just kidding. But Jen has, do you want to like explain? Uh, so we did like hand painted balayage. So we like took different sections and I pretty much just used lightener to like, I did a little bit higher and more saturated around her face. And then we did a little bit lower in the back. We just hand painted and blended it on. Yeah, so that, that might be common sense to everyone, but I it mean, wasn't to me. <laughs> and we're just gonna let it sit for a little bit? Yeah, we're gonna let it sit for like 30-ish minutes. I'm just gonna keep watching it. And when it gets light enough, we'll wash it out. We might tone it, we'll see. It's like, oh my god, I'm literally in love, love with it. it. It's like not so different that I'm like, oh my god, but it's just like blonde and shiny and perfect. Oh my god. Okay, Jill killed it again. I'm literally just gonna keep thinking of like random reasons to come back and like hang Seriously. out with you. I'm like, I, I could use a hair curl, Jill. What are you up to? Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> no, that's awesome. You're awesome. Oh no, but it looks awesome. And I'll put her info in the description box again. Anyone who is in San Diego, whether you live here or visit, Bellagio Salon. Yay! My face is all shiny right now because it's so hot and I was like sitting in my car overheating. You know what? You have the air on but it's like still hot. I don't know. That's what happened. But I'm, I'm literally so obsessed with my hair. It's like not that different but it's just a little blonder and I just feel like I am suited with blonde hair. I'm just a blonde person. Anyways, I am heading up to my apartment right now. It's like 1.30, so kind of late, and I'm going to whip up some lunch. This has been 
just like a normal staple meal. I wasn't planning on doing a full day of eating, but I think that might be what this video is. We shall see. We okay, so I just thought I'd show you really quick. I'm cooking up some of these Beyond Meat chicken strips that I got at Whole Foods the other day. And they look so good. You can see they're kind of like brown and crispy. The key to getting them like that is cooking them in olive oil. It is freaking delicious. And you only need like five to seven grams. You don't need that much and it makes such a difference. And there's lunch. Um, I just have these vegan Beyond Meat chips that you guys saw me cook in olive oil. And then yellow potato. These and jasmine rice that I have prepped. And I seasoned it with, this is my favorite seasoning from Trader Joe's, chili lime. And there's some zucchini in there and then I topped it with 50 grams of avocado. Oh, and I guess I should tell you that the macros I'm hitting today are 385 carb, 95 fat, 150 protein. So, time to eat. I'm literally so hungry, it's two o'clock right now. <laughs> Okay, it's like 3 o'clock already. I just got off the phone with Mother DeYoung, actually. We only talk really on the weekends because we're both super busy during the week, so we always have kind of like a long conversation either on Saturday or Sunday. Anyways, I wanted to share with you guys um, something. Sorry, I'm being a little vague, but you guys know that I, I have celiac, so I can't eat gluten, and I talk a lot about how like I have digestive issues and my body is just very sensitive to different things I eat. My body just doesn't do well with things like, I don't know, oats, Brussels sprouts, I don't know. But it's something that you only realize through trial and error, right? So it's like after feeling sick for a week, I'm like, oh, I always feel sick after I eat my oats. Maybe I should stop eating so many of them. That type of thing. Um, but this company called Pinner Test reached out to me and it is a food intolerance test and it's really cool and they sent me this booklet that talks about how eating foods that your body is intolerant to not only one can cause digestive issues like i just said but it can cause sugar cravings it can hurt your immune system um, it can cause like bloating it can hurt your metabolism cause fatigue stomach aches acne whatever Lots of stuff. Eating foods you're intolerant to is not good, but a lot of people, me included, probably don't know that you're intolerant to certain foods. So it's really, really cool that they sent this to me, and I'm working with them right now to come up with a discount code because um, it's a very expensive test, but I'm going to show you guys the results in an upcoming video. But right now, I just wanted to show you how it works. Today, we are going to do the finger prick and send that off. And then in an upcoming video, I'll go through all the results with you and just kind of talk about my experience and stuff with them. But I'm really, really excited about this because it's like right up my alley and I think it'll actually be really helpful for me to see like in writing the foods that my body is sensitive to and the foods that it isn't. So let's do this finger prick, which shouldn't be hard because I'm used to this from being diabetic. Okay, so it gives me the step-by-step -step directions which I need, so I don't want to screw it up. I need scissors. <gasps> okay, so these are the finger pricks. And then I have a little alcohol swab. And then this is blood collection paper. <laughs> so I'm assuming I just put my blood right in there. So let's do this finger. I'm gonna wipe it off. I'm assuming I just press this button. I'm nervous, I wanna make sure my finger's really clean. Okay. <laughs> Why am I nervous? Oh, that wasn't bad at all. I thought it was gonna be like way worse than the finger pricks I normally give myself. So then, I'm assuming I just Oh, it says two to three drops of blood will be enough, so I think I, I think we're good. Okay, so I just filled out this little form with my address and stuff, and I put, they send you a little return thing. 
So I just stick this in here. And this, and then they email you your results. So I'm really excited about this. Okay, so I'm so mad right now. I'm, it's like 3.30, and I'm at a gas station to pick up a rock star. But really, I just wanted a freaking Diet Coke, and wait, I'm gonna show you guys this, one second. I need my wallet. The whole street is blocked off for a fair, and all I want is to get in there, but it's blocked, so I can't. Like, it's not that big of a deal, but you know when you really want something, and it's been like a whole week, and now I don't get it, and it's really sad. And I'm gonna be way too caffeinated from a rock star, but whatever, I'm already here. Okay, I'm at a stoplight, but I really need to make this driving and vlogging thing not a thing. Okay, we're going now, fuck. I feel so unsafe, but we're in a rush. Okay, so that grocery thing took way longer than planned. I like got lost because I had to take all these freaking back roads. So it's like 4.30, 4.31 right now, and I'm just going home, and I'll show you what I got. It's nothing exciting, but whatever. Might as well show you. I'll show you that super fast, and then we're going to make a little snack and get ready to go to the gym. I also don't know if you can see me right now because it's so bright, I can't even see myself, but also I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at the road, I promise. Okay, so we're back. I'm just gonna show you what I got really quickly. Like I said, it's nothing new or exciting, just a few staple things, but I might as well show you. So I got a carton of whole eggs, which I've been going through like crazy because since my fats are higher, I just use a lot more whole eggs instead of egg whites and they're way better than egg whites, to be totally honest. Um, I got 93.7 ground turkey, which again, I've been, is just higher fat than the 99 one that I've been using and tastes way better. So I'm like fresh out of turkey and I go through this stuff like crazy. Um, Cashew milk, because staple. Fat-free Ready Whip, because staple. <laughs> um, I got a pint of this Edie's Slow Churned Ice Cream, which is bomb. Not as good as the one I got at Whole Foods the other day, but that one's gone, and this will do. Honestly, it has really good macros, and I actually don't like getting my protein from ice cream, like Halo Top and stuff, um, but for one serving, which is half a cup. It has three fat, 15 carbs, and three protein, which I'm gonna use this tonight, so I'll show you what I do with my ice cream to get some protein without using protein ice cream. And honestly, it tastes way better than like Halo Top and Enlighten too, if I'm being totally honest. But I just got vanilla because I put toppings on it. Um, I got this wine, which I haven't tried before, but it's the weekend, so. A glass of wine is necessary, and it's called LBD, Little Black Dress. I think it was like $12 for a bottle, which is not bad. That's usually like the price I like to spend on wine. I got reduced sugar ketchup. I got this cheesecake sugar-free pudding mix, which I like to mix in my Greek yogurt. It just makes it taste really sweet and delicious at night. I got bananas because I go through them like crazy. It's really the only fruit I eat too much of when I'm bulking. And then, last thing, I just got a big bag of jasmine rice. Um, I haven't been buying the pre-made rice because I go through it so fast and it's just like not cost effective. It's so much more expensive to buy like the pre-made rice. Um, and it's like a box of that Trader Joe's one is like four, four dollars or something. And I go through that in like two days. So what I've been doing is just pre, like, prepping a bunch of this in the rice cooker and then just using it as I need it. And it's been so much cheaper. Like this whole bag of rice, which is like a freaking pound, no, more than a pound. Five, this five pound bag of rice was $7. So, like, not bad at all. And that's what I've been doing. And I go through one of these in like a week. Not kidding, maybe a week and a half. So, that's all I got, nothing too exciting. I'm gonna put this away and make a snack and then get ready to head to the gym. I'm still like not over this hair at all. Okay, snack is ready. So, I just have two caramel rice cakes. They are, these are the best brand of caramel rice cakes. So two of those with this peanut butter, the honey roasted peanut butter from Whole Foods, banana and cinnamon. 
And then right here, I have five ounces of just plain Greek yogurt. And then I put a serving of this purely Elizabeth granola on top and honey and then the rest of the banana. I think I used like 85 grams of banana, so whatever didn't fit on the rice cake. I put here and doesn't that look delicious and honestly honey and Greek yogurt and granola is like the best combo ever one last thing this granola the purely the purely Elizabeth one I forgot how freaking good it is like all the flavors are bomb but I used to be addicted to this and now I remember why I was addicted to it I'm about to head out and I just said here, I'm not taking pre-workout because I'm that rock star. But Unico came out with this new flavor of BCAs. It's galactic grape and I'm not a grape person like at all, but I actually really like these. It's like grape Jolly Rancher, like kind of that sour, I don't know, but it's really freaking good. So I just have a super scoop of these to just sip on um, on my way there and while I'm at the gym. And I have back and shoulders today, which I recorded a shoulder workout for you guys a little bit ago. And um, I really need to rush and get through this. So I'm not gonna take you with me, I'll leave you here. But this is a full day of eating apparently now, so I'll show you my dinner when I get home. And just like that, I am home from the gym. It's actually 8.15 right now. But I'm just about to whip up dinner and I thought I would show you guys, I said how I, and have been prepping my rice in my rice cooker to save money and it's just really freaking convenient. Like I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner, but I thought I'd show you how I do it. I just cooked all that rice in the rice cooker and that'll probably last me literally only like a day or a day and a half. But it was 300 grams raw and then I weighed it out cooked and it weighed 805 grams. So I divided 805 by 300, which was about 2.7 grams. So one gram of raw rice is equivalent to 2.7 grams cooked. So like tonight, for example, I'm having 100 grams of rice that I tracked raw. So I'll weigh out 270 grams. I'm going to whip up dinner and I'll show you guys when it's ready. Okay, here's the almost finished product. So it's just three ounces of chicken, obviously an egg, 100 grams of jasmine rice measured dry, and three ounces of asparagus. I just thought I would show you separately what I'm gonna put on it and then I'll show you when it's all done. So in this bowl, I just mix together tahini that I got at Whole Foods, which I am now newly obsessed with. I haven't gone a day without eating it since I bought it. Um, but I just have tahini mixed with a little bit of Dijon mustard, which some, one of you guys told me to do in the comment section and I tried it and I've been obsessed. Put that on top for a little bit more fat and then a serving of kimchi just because it's tasty. Tahini, kimchi, the rest of the bowl under there, and then egg that I cracked to take a picture. <laughs> Here's a freaking mess right now. Oh, I guess macros for this meal. 91 carbs, 13.5 fat, 36.5 protein, 632 calories. And yeah, that's, that's what's going down right about now. And it is that time. I have my glass of wine. Cheers. Ooh, I actually really, really like this one. It's the LBD that I just bought. And it says aromas of dark berries and toasted oak with a hint of vanilla spice and a lasting finish. Hmm. I'd say that's pretty accurate. Whatever. I like it. It is 11 p.m. almost right now, and I've just been editing, and I showered, and then I started editing again, and I lost track of time, as per usual, but I'm gonna call it quits for the night. <laughs> I'm almost done, and make my last meal. So what I'm having is a belt sander brownie with ice cream, and I've showed a belt sander brownie recipe before, 
but it's been a really, really long time. Since I got that Whole Foods ice cream, I've been on an ice cream kick. And basically it's like a protein brownie, but it's like the simplest thing ever. So I'll show you guys how I whip that up really fast, and then you'll see the final product. Feeling used, but I'm still missing you, and I can't see the end of it. Just want to feel your kiss against my lips, and now all this time is passing by. But I still can't seem to tell you why It hurts me every time I see you Realize how much I need you I hate you, I love you, I hate that I love you, don't want to The final product So it's just the brownie under there <laughs> And then I have three servings of vanilla ice cream and then toppings are 20 grams of Reese's Puffs and one of these little Butterfinger Bites. Macros for the final meal are 73 carbs, 15 fat, and 30 protein. Anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed the full day of eating. It was not super exciting because I wasn't planning on doing it. But my full days of eating are never exciting, if we're being totally honest. But you guys seem to always like full days of eating, so I'm just going to keep making them and just doing my thing. Um, but yeah, as always, comment, share, like, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see, if you have any suggestions. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments because I can answer them in my next video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.